What's up everybody, back for another beer review and today I will be reviewing a beer from Urban Artifact and they are out of Cincinnati, Ohio and this is their squeeze box. So this is what they are calling a strawberry Midwest fruit tart which is basically an imperial sour ale that is brewed with strawberries and vanilla, comes in at 8.6% alcohol by volume, no IBUs listed in the time of review. This can is approximately three weeks old and I wanna give a huge, absolutely huge shout out and thanks to a good friend of mine and a fellow beer tuber, Rod over at Rod J Beer Ventures for hooking me up with this one. I'll post a link in the description box to Rod's channel along with the beer mail unboxing video I did of all the goodies he sent my way. And uh, yeah, I've been wanting to try Urban Artifact beers for a while, so I'm really excited that Rod threw one in the box. And this one sounds absolutely delicious. On the back here, it says drink fresh. This Midwest fruit tart has 3,000 pounds of strawberries and 60 grams of vanilla, be uh, vanilla beans per 30 barrel batch. That's a shit ton of strawberries. It says real fruit is heavy, gently turned end over end before opening and serving. The real fruit used in all urban artifact beer has been fermented out, creating a safe, stable, and delicious beer that will not referment or explode under normal storage conditions. Are they, are they taking a shot at 450 North? No, 450 North, some of their beers will explode because they might referment in the can. There's a lot of different breweries that are doing uh, beers like that. So yeah, I am uh, just, yeah, I'm pumped to give this one a go. On here, they have like a little thing that says, uh, is it more to the less sour or more sour range? This is to the more sour. So I guess we'll see. Anyway, we will give it a roll. Like I said, I already roll it once, but we'll do it again because why not? Anyway, let's crack this one open. Strawberries, vanilla beans. Yeah. Now I've mentioned this before and other reviews. When it comes to strawberries, I feel like you got to use a lot of strawberries to get a true strawberry flavor. And it seems as though they may have used a lot of strawberries. So that has, yeah, oh my, that, that's, that's looking like a fruit smoothie. Wow. I'm not going to pour it all in there, but let's see if there's a little bit of gunk at the end. So that does not actually look all that great. <laughs> I'm just going to be honest with you. The color on that looks terrible. I don't even know what it's, this is like a dulled out, that looks like guava juice that has been oxidized, is what it looks like. Um, yeah, I don't even know how to explain that color. You guys can see it on camera. Maybe it comes off different, but that does not look, that looks like sewer sewer water, honestly. It really doesn't look great. Has about a half finger of a uh, really like light pink head, uh, creamy looking, but that does not look great. But, you know, they're using a bunch of vanilla beans, strawberries, the whole nine, so we'll see. There is a ton of strawberries in here. Holy crap. There is a lot of strawberries, a lot of vanilla. It's given me like, like fruit smoothie vibes, like strawberry fruit smoothie. But the vanilla isn't huge. I, I said there's a lot. It, it's not huge. It's strawberries, the really thing. It's like a seedy strawberry. There is a slight funkiness going on in this one. I'd imagine these are kettle sour, and I usually don't get funk uh, from kettle sour, uh, kettle sour beers, but it has a little bit of funkiness in there. There's also like this weedy, uh, like like wheat, wheat <laughs> component. Shout out to Guy over at Drinking Canada, wheat. Uh, but yeah, it's it just has this like weedy component to it as well. It doesn't really smell like beer though. It smells like some kind of strawberry drink, right? It's not to the level of the 450 North slushy beers, but it definitely is heavy on the fruit. It smells pretty good. It looks honestly terrible, but anyway, looks can be, uh, looks can be deceiving. So cheers everybody. Thanks again, Rod. Ooh. Ooh, that is... I see what they're saying about sourness. It's, it's definitely sour. First thing up front, I am perceiving the alcohol at 8.6%. Um, getting a little bit of stringency on the palate and a little bit of chest warming, but mostly on the back of the palate, there's a little bit of a stringency there. But there's a lot of strawberry here and I can tell the strawberry, it's not as much as the nose would indicate or the sheer amount they're using. It's definitely there. So first thing I will say is 8.6%. It's a bit thin. It's a bit thin. It's like medium body. I prefer this to be a little bit higher, but I'll, I'll survive. I'll live. Um, the actual mouthfeel of this is actually way more carbonated than I anticipated. I thought it, you know, have a nice soft, smooth component from all the strawberries, from the vanilla. It does have a, a decent, soft, smooth component to it, but it does have a little bit more a little bit more um, carbonation than I anticipated. 
The taste is strawberries, a little bit more strawberries, some more strawberries. You get the vanilla, it's like omnipresent on the sides of the tongue. You get nuances of it everywhere, but it's not the predominant note at any point. Um, this is kind of like, it drinks like kind of a strawberry fruit smoothie, but way more tart. There's a, there's a high tartness to this one, lower sourness. I mentioned this recently in another review, but my palate's very acclimated nowadays to sourness, so it's hard for me to say, oh, this beer's super tart. This is approaching straight on sourness for me. As I continue to drink and acclimate my palate to the uh, the beer itself, I am starting to get less of that alcohol stringency. Um, but yeah, so lots of strawberry, lots of vanilla, a little bit of that weedy component. Finishes uh, quite dry and relatively tart and uh, with a little bit of like sweetness as well. This is a really good beer. I'm enjoying it. I wish I wasn't perceiving the alcohol. I pegged this at right around seven and a half, eight percent So they're hiding it. They're hiding it relatively well, but I do know this is a bigger beer, whereas like the 450 North beers and other beers that I've had that are kind of in this realm that are eight plus, I can't even tell. This one I can tell a little bit. But I'm enjoying this. I think they did a really good job at getting that strawberry character out of this beer, uh, especially since, from my experience of drinking strawberry beers and seeing people brew with them and whatnot, you have to use so, so many strawberries that it's, I don't know, it, it seems like you really can't get a great strawberry flavor unless you use like extract. And then if you start using extracts or like natural strawberry flavor, you start getting like the candied strawberry vibe and not real. This is real. This is a seedy, uh, sweet, but tart strawberry character, which is nice, but at the same time, it's not, you know, like just crazy amounts of strawberries. That said, I do enjoy this one. I wish there was a little bit less alcohol, like I said. I wish this had a little bit more overall flavor to it because it's mostly strawberries, a little bit of vanilla, a little bit of wheat, and that's it. But I do like the tartness to it. So this one's kind of all over the place on how I'm thinking. I don't think the beer itself is. It's just my, my mind's like, you know, how do I rate this? Where What do I really think about this? I think this is a really good beer. I do think that um, I would like to try, I don't know if, I know they do variants of this. I'd like to try other variants. This is a good beer. It's not blowing me away or anything. So rating on the squeeze box from Urban Artifact, I'm going to give this a high four. I'm going to give it a 4.1, 4.15 out of five. I think it's really well uh, made. I think it's kind of exactly what they're going for. Just for me, it's not as impactful as I was hoping it would be. That said, it's still pretty tasty. And if you can get your hands on any Urban Artifact beers, I'd highly recommend doing so just because the hype uh, is pretty big for them, especially if you love like sour beers and fruited sour beers. And having my first beer from them, I wouldn't say I'm like super impressed, but at the same time, it's a quality beer and it's very enjoyable and I do want to try more from them. So I appreciate Rod sending this one my way. It was great to try and uh, I'm going to have no problem drinking the rest of this and feeling good afterwards. So appreciate everybody stopping by. Till the next one, cheers.